Imagination. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Yes. Sliced onions. I just, I might not even be able to pull that off. Is, that is it like filming right now? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's yeah. scary. Why is that scary? I don't know. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people over there. All right, this could all be cut. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with My Dumb Friends. I, of course, am Christian, and this is my friend. Oh, Josh. I thought, <laughs> I thought she knew my name, but I didn't know. What we are making today is... Sliced onions. Schweinsaxa. Exactly. <laughs> Schweinsaxa. <laughs> I don't know. If you, so, I, this is a surprise to Josh. He had no idea what we were going to make I don't today. even know what that is. So, Schweinsaxa is pork knuckles, um, also known as ham hocks, um, and they're roasted until crispy on the outside, and then we're going to have it with uh, braised red cabbage and potatoes. And potatoes. Both these guys, really, really weird looking. Um, they are weird looking. I got three of them. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and throw these babies in some boiling water, which I started because it takes a long time for water to boil in Colorado. Um, we're at altitude. Facts. Also, it's <laughs> it's Pride weekend, and that's why Pride. I'm wearing this. I uh, this know. is just one of my favorite shirts. <laughs> it's not really a, it's more of a reading rainbow shirt. So we're gonna throw these guys in the boiling water with some garlic, onion, salt, and peppercorns, and a bay leaf. They're, they're gonna boil for an hour and a half. So like really, oh. there's, this is very simple. So we're just gonna like play games while we wait for that to cook. So onions. Do you know you don't know how to chop an onion? Well, so once upon a time I worked at a at a restaurant called Quiznos, and they have giant onion slicers, ah, right? But yep. you don't sit there with a knife and cut them. I see. If you hold a knife like this, right? Oh, you pinch, you. pinch the blade. You'll cut this part off. Okay. You'll cut this in half. Okay. And then, and then I'll show you what to do from there. Okay. okay. At, at that job, they used to make me cut the onions all the time because I. I had the worst, I had the worst so you'll just go under the first layer and okay. just peel the. Okay. <laughs> oh, my, this is oh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I was nowhere near my. Everything's my fingers. fine. Okay, so and then we'll peel our garlic real quick. There's steam coming out of here, so you know that the water in there is very, very hot. So we're gonna have to be really careful. Crikey. What goes in first? And how? Okay. Gravity does like most of the So first <laughs> we're going to put in our pork hocks and then we're going to put in all of our seasonings and flavorful things. Okay, cool. And now beans. And lost them. Now what? Put the lid on. Put the lid on. Oh, yes, we have it. <laughs> so now we're going to have that boil for 90 minutes um, so it can get nice and tender and so our skin crisps up really nicely when we go ahead and roast it. So while we wait, we're going to play games and have a couple more beers probably. So yeah. we'll see you in 90 minutes. When are we going to show you both doing a rainbow song? Did you play that? No! no. Shut <laughs> up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Get in here, Prom. Alright. Roast. Dog. In my heart. <laughs> it has been 90 minutes, so we're going to grab our. We hope you used that 90 minutes wisely. Yeah, if you didn't. We sure did. We're coming for you. We're gonna take out the hawks. We're gonna. Do a couple of things with them, and then we're gonna throw them in a pan and throw them in the oven at 390 degrees. Is the pan going in the oven? The pan will go into the oven. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. I know. Mm, I've never seen okay. this before. It's magic. <laughs> we do magic here. Uh, we're gonna take this. We're gonna drain it in the sink, and then we're going to uh, score one of them. Two of them. I say let's say two. We'll leave one unscored. To see what the difference is. What will we score? It? Eight out of ten. Ten minutes. Oh, look at roll. We're rolling that beautiful. There's a lot of steam here. It's very hot. So uh, this will be one of the ones that we score. And what? So I'm okay. gonna score one. You'll score one. Okay. I can't wait to find out what that means. So 
Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks so juicy. So we're just going to create a bed of onions for the... Oh, you should just ask me to bring the bed I sleep on. Oh, I sleep on a bed, I sleep on a bed of onions. Oh. <laughs> and I'll put this scored hock. Just like that. Mm, so okay. I will let you score a hock. Okay. And then we will leave the other hawk unscored to see what the result is. I have a knife and a piece of meat here. Um, I'm going to do my best. Do it. <laughs> That's going to be on the gravestone. Oh. All right, here we go. We aren't all born heroes, okay? It's true. Some of us are born great. Others achieve greatness. Others have greatness thrust upon. I hope my work here makes the cut. So now, I will be placing these lovely boiled hocks that have been scored and rubbed with garlic into the oven. The way we get Very hot in there. We are going to cut up this cabbage because we're going to braise it while our hocks are getting so, crisp Just trying to pick which fingertip to aim for since I'm destined to cut one of them. Just <laughs> angle them in such a way that you don't cut them. Okay, just don't cut them. Will they just be like quiet for like a minute? Yeah. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> yeah, you just, oh man, this is good. Is it all good? Yeah, oh, it's real good. So we're going to cut up the potatoes. 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 The ingredients we have here are cabbage, onions, onions garlic, garlic, and potatoes. Yep, yeah, and we're going to throw those into a pan and braise them. Again, braising is like sautéing, but different. We're going to put some oil in the pan, and then we're going to throw the onion and garlic, and then the cabbage. I can go. Back it up, back it up. Okay. So what Christian is doing is she's cooking the onions oil in the pan just like I thought. So what we have here is a, uh, a plate of cabbage. A little small one. Cutting board cabbage. We're going to add it to the onions that are already sauteing, right? Okay. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yep. It's okay. There's a lot of cabbage here. We don't need all of it. Alright. So that's some salt. It's gonna really enhance those flavors. Make that cabbage pop. What we're gonna do next is turn our swine saxa onto broil so that the skin will get super crispy. Because um, we definitely want it to be kind of like a pork rind texture. I'm gonna eat you soon. Mm, <laughs> get in my bow. So, what are we doing with the potatoes? Like, what's their final form? It'll we'll just be mashed potatoes. Okay. Oh, look at those! Oh my goodness. Those look good. Mmm! Mm -hmm. So what do we have here, Christian? Our potatoes that we cooked, and we we're going to drain them. This is from our escargot episode. You should watch it right there. Right there. And it's going to go on our mashed potatoes. So what? Uh, what's in this, exactly? Parsley, butter, garlic. That's what you want both in your snails and your potatoes. So really, snails are exactly like potatoes, because you're going to want to put the same things in them. Namely, parsley, butter, and garlic. Let's eat this soup. And now, the potatoes with butter, parsley, parsley, and garlic. Watch. Or snails. Oh, the pork's just arrived. Sizzling. Okay. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take one of our swine. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that really does. Yeah, zoom on in on that. Oh my. So we're going to go ahead and cut some pieces off of this. You want to make sure when you're serving it to give your folks a piece of the skin for the best part. Okay. That's the crispy, crispy. Go for this bit. Oh. Yeah. That crunch. That crunch yeah. is key. You're going to want to hear that crunch. Alright, well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate you always tuning in. Um, I want to remind you again to like, share, and subscribe because that's what keeps us going. And thank you for just being people who watch 
10 minutes of us being ridiculous. So we will see you <laughs> next time. And thank you so much for watching Cooking with My Dumb Friends. And who knows, maybe next time you'll be my dumb friend. Do Bye, it. Guys. Be her dumb friend. Do it, for sure.